How's it going? Um, my name's Jamie Danik. I'm with Hum Kombucha. Uh, we're a company out of Bend, Oregon, started in 2009. We exist to help people feel better. It's really that simple, um, while taking exceptional care of everyone we come in contact with. So it was 2009, and um, we're in a kitchen in Bend, Oregon. Um, recession just happened. The town was a bit of a mess. My business partner, Michelle, and I just moved to Bend. We just met. And th the place was a mess. And Michelle and I were drinking this kombucha. We're sitting at the kitchen table. We felt great. We were like, oh, my God, I wonder if it's the kombucha that's making us feel so good. We should probably get this out to everybody. So we sent out an email. We didn't know anybody in town. We started this door-to-door -door delivery system at, in 2009 of kombucha, 20 bucks under the mat. And we're going to help you feel better. And that quickly went from like a couple of emails to a couple of neighbors to we were sold out for the next four years. We were, and by the way, we were called Kombucha Mama at the time. And at, at that time, I guess we were about a million dollar brand. And we decided to go national. And the reason was we had this product that was really accessible. So in 2009, can you raise your hand if you drank kombucha in 2009? Okay. Oh, there's a handful of you. So this stuff was pretty intense. You had to go to the health food store. It was very vinegary. It was pretty strong. It was definitely not for the average consumer. But the product, Michelle, my business partner, she was making this kombucha that was really light and refreshing. And we were like, I wonder if you didn't shop at Whole Foods and you didn't go to a health food store, would you be interested in a product like this? So we put our product on the shelves of 7-Elevens, gas stations, cigarette outlets, grocery stores, um, pizza shops, coffee shops. We sat next to Red Bull Monster Naked Adwala. That was our competition. And we could not keep this stuff on the shelf. So we, we, we thought we were onto something. We were in Bend. We expanded Eugene. And then we decided to go national. We were getting calls from all over the country. And we thought we, were re we really had something. So at that time, we, we were just, it was just me and her and like five other people. We brought in uh, a first round of investment. We did a convertible note. We uh, hired some a board of advisors. We brought in a professional CEO who happened to be um, Michelle's husband at the time. And we, we also rebranded from Kombucha Mama to Hum. And then again, the same thing happened. We were out of product. The more product we made, the more product we sold. We quickly became the number three kombucha in the country. And, and seriously, we did this by, we were the, everybody was at the health food stores and we were everywhere else. We were at Target, we were at Walmart, we were at Costco, we were at Safeway, we were in all these places. And you know how like you're at the dance and like you're the pretty girl and like the pretty girl gets asked to dance at every dance. Well, we, not only were we the prettiest girl at the dance, we were the only girl at the dance. Nobody was talking to any of these stores. And actually, we didn't really know what we were doing. We were just a bunch of entrepreneurs that had a crazy idea. But what we saw was happening was all these kombuchas are in the health food stores and we're in this mass channel. Well, at the same time, this was a couple years ago, we brought in VMG, who's going to talk to you guys, fantastic investment partner. We were a bunch of entrepreneurs with no business experience, really no expertise in food and beverage, and we needed some guidance and some help. That was the reason that we brought them in. They're, they're really good at CPG and understanding food and beverage and structure and all these things. Um, and at the same time, so the, we, we, uh, we raised another round of investment with them. We brought them in, and uh, we expanded to all these places. We became the number three, which I just said, and uh, all the competition looked at us and went, who are these guys? And in the last year and a half, we had a bunch of competition. So now, not only were we not the prettiest girl at the dance, we were not the only girl at the dance. There were a lot of girls at the dance, and there were a lot prettier girls than us. And so we spent the last year, year and a half, pretty much getting our ass handed to us. Um, it's, been a, it's, been a, it's been a crazy challenging year at the same time of trying to figure out how to be the only girl at the party to be with a bunch of other girls at the party. And so competition is everywhere. You see kombucha everywhere now. It's in all the mass stores and just trying to figure out how to navigate um, with all these other brands. So the end of the story is we're still going strong. We're still out of bend. There's just under 100 people at home. We're, we're distributed nationwide. We also have a joint venture in Sweden and expect in the next 12 to 18 months to see some pretty crazy innovation coming out of home kombucha in Bend, Oregon. Thank you.